Johnny Stapner for IrishBoxing.com with Matthew Tindall. Two, you know, we got you recently, just talking about your debut, but uh, you, fun, you have a date now, like just. Yeah, November, yeah. Yeah, yeah. How does it feel to have a date? Oh, it's unreal. It just gives you that bit of more motivation, excitement towards mm. it, you know what I mean? So you're not just trying it for nothing. Yeah, uh, yeah. Four weeks out now, and I'm feeling good already. And did you, have you looked at opponents and all? Have you enjoyed it no. now? No, 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 Jay's going to get onto that now. Yeah. And he'll let us know when he gets one, but uh, the same attitude's going to have, like, the same attitude's going to be with whoever it is. Like, I'm going to just do one thing and that's get the win. Yeah. And, and what about ring walk around? Have you allowed yourself to get excited for any of that? Or? Not really, no. no. I order my gear now. That's, that's the first bit of it yeah. now. But, uh, Was it cool doing that? Like, or even, yeah, yeah. Feel good. It feels. It's surreal, the outer man. Like mm. you see all the stuff on the telly and even the press conference there. Yeah, you yeah, see yeah. that all on telly and then when you get to do it. See, even when I was younger going out to, over to England to watch shows and all, you don't actually picture yourself being in that position. Mm. But when you finally do it, you're kind of taken <laughs> back to the outer man. But yeah, it's exciting. It Were is. you nervous up there then today? Uh, yeah, you're yeah. always <laughs> nervous when you're sitting with all the lads and some more experienced than you, the outer man. So. Yeah. Well, was really and I think you look back at this one day and when you're laugh, having yeah when you're having a top table argument with some big American yeah, star or something. And just uh, and I, I never even thought about asking it the last time like signing with Jay. Someone was asking that you'd offers from left, right, and centre. Like, any who was in for you? Um, Wayne McCullough wanted to be my coach over there. Yeah. And uh, he was going to take on the management side of it too. Mm. With Sheer Sports America, that side of the Sheer Sports were were in talks with them, but. It just didn't feel right, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it just didn't uh, work out. But um, I'm happy how it works now with Jay. Was that out, like preferred to stay in Ireland, or was it? Not even. It was no. just a, um, you had a relationship with Jay. J- Jay, I built a lot of, as I said, trust with Jay. Yeah. And I think that in boxing, you need someone there that will, because mm. you see a lot of lads over there getting thrown into fights and they're just getting knocked out, and the promoter doesn't care. Yeah, but now yeah. one thing Jay will care Jay will look out his full best for himself that's that's what really stood out to me yeah well and he, he he was 95 kilo walking around when I texted him and he told me to come down to the gym he he, he believed in me from when I was at my worst you know what I mean I yeah. look now I'm my 72 kilo now and that meant a lot to you did that it meant that meant a yeah. lot that, that there he didn't just pass me off as yeah. I was finished he really believed that I could come back and look where I am now I'm still not at 100%, I'm only about 70, but I'm still good enough to, to, to get there. Yeah, and like the roadmap, do you know what, like your debut now is probably a bit earlier than you initially thought, is it? Yeah, yeah. We're, we're planning for February, but yeah. I couldn't turn down this. Look at like, yeah. the amount of people I get out there, it's unbelievable. Like, the support that I'm going to get, and as well as Russian as well. Two of us are from Bray. Yeah, That's yeah. going to be some atmosphere. And just another thing that was mentioned as well is Holly Malinaji is a fan. Yeah, yeah, you, like, yeah. did, how did that come about? Or? Um, he watched a few more spars with lads over in America. Yeah. He sparred a lad called Ashton Silva. He's actually signed with Jake Paul. He's a, I think he's 11 and 0 with 10 knockouts or something. Mm. He was USA number one and I sparred him. I sparred him. And I, I beat him. Like it was, it was a close spar, but I would have edged it. Yeah. Then I sparred another lad called JJ Zamora. He was a, he's a 12 and 0 now as well. And I, that was a, that was a closer spar, 50-50 spar. But I just showed my level there, the other man. And Holly liked it and saw, watched it and liked it, the other man. And did he has said that to you or did he? No, he's been talking to Jay. Ah, okay. But, um, but just knowing lads like Holly and Lashley that. Over me, yeah, yeah, yeah. just gives you that bit more confidence, John. And finally, then, and a, a, probably a, a different one is that you just you reckon you've reckon Pierce O'Leary is the main man in Irish boxing at the minute, yeah. No, like, you're, he's, he's gonna land on you like a 10 round, 12 round fight. Maybe he won't land in the first two or three rounds, but eventually he'll get you. It's like a shark in the water, like, yeah. That's what it is, isn't it? Like, He's unbelievable, and it's not even just him in the ring. Outside the ring, he's helped me through the years. Oh, oh you sparred and you've and you've uh, chatted him. Yeah, talk, we yeah. were in the same club for years, and uh, he, he he brought me on a lot outside the ring. Yeah. And uh, yeah, he he was big help. For, he for seems to have changed his, his own sort of perspective outside the ring. So, what advice would he give you outside the ring, or what way would that work? Or like, we um, we're not in that club anymore, but yeah. when we were. We're kind of distant now because he's in England. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, before, like we were going into tournaments, and then we're 
seen it for a bit young or inexperienced and he'd be saying, go for it, like, I know. Yeah. Reassure me, like, go in and end up winning it. Like, mm. And he was the one that was, like, he's over on holiday in Mexico when I won the under 18s and he's calling me. Oh, he's yeah. outside the ring and he's screaming down the phone. Like, <laughs> that's how much it meant to both of us and him, like me and him. And it was a good game it was, but um, yeah, it's, it's good. Yeah, and it's, not, and it's nice to have that link exactly, and, and yeah. stuff like that. And then just, what will you do over the last month then? You, you just... I'm still flat out trying to yeah. still, I'm still, I'm still not 100%, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm close, um, but I'm trying to with Jimmy Helping. Yeah. And working on, from amateur to pro is a complete different style. So we're working on sitting on shots, everything, and that's what Jimmy's helped me do. Jimmy's... He's gonna coach it, is he? Jimmy, yeah. Dad and Billy. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Jimmy's just a master of boxing. He's been yes. through it all like twice over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah. So Jimmy's the man. Lovely. I appreciate your time Thanks. again, Matt. Take care. Thanks, and best of luck at Davy. Thank you.